Hello YouTube, this is The Passion, also known as Mikel, and welcome to another segment of our journey to No More Heroes 3. Oh man, right, so we gotta dress Travis up a little bit. We're gonna earn some money, so I'm gonna go on to the fight, rush on over there, and it'll be all done and the dusted there. Alright, so cute little update time. I'm hella hyped. For No More Heroes 3 still. Hence the series. Hence the name. But, oop, oop. <laughs> there we go. But, Udan Wu-Tang. Um, this is... The game gets, uh, real, real interesting from round about here. We, uh... We get to see how crazy it is. We get to see some more... We get to see quite a few Star Wars references, actually. Just back to back. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, they're gonna start cropping up and just coming straight into It's really weird. Really... Oh man, I still, for history's sake, I still want to see those Star Wars films, because everyone's saying that they're either okay, or they flopped. I'm going to see it for history's sake, but ever since The Last Jedi, and there's that one scene when it's just, I think some like warp drive, hyperdrive scene, and it just cuts through this, some damn ships, I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> That's the only bit I really remember so far. I haven't seen Mark Hamill do anything. Other than that, I'm like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's so far, is it? Oh, that's actually a pretty good top anyway. I'm a bit tempted to stick with that top, but I'll still browse through very quickly. War Without Honor. Yo, that's, mm, that's pretty good. Mm, that's pretty good too. It's pretty nice and relevant to what we're going to kill a large. Ah! Oh, macabro. A macabro. <laughs> Oh man, on oh, Route 66. Man, there's too many good tops this time, man. 666. Triple six. There's too many good tops this round, man. Uh, oh no, I need this one. I need that one for way later. I need that for way... Well, not even way later, it's actually the next fight. After this one. Uh, mm, I'm so torn and it's this... It's these two. It's... Nah, it's more this one. War of Honor, baby. Let's go. And, yep. Yep, it's almost like I know how to dress people. What? It's only these shades? Guessing I'm gonna have to go with this one. No, no, wait, what's the other one? Yo, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll stick with that. <laughs> Man, that looked good. That looked good. Let me see his belts. Whoops. Let's see his belts. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I do love dressing up Travis. Take care now, brother. Take care now, brother. What do, buddy? Man, I do. I so. I really wish there was a shop out there in the world that had all the Area 51 merch in there. I want it so badly. I want it so badly. Oh, come on, don't. Don't. Don't tell me apart. Oh, okay, let's go. Come on! Yes, that's the only reason that's in the game. That's the only reason, because you get stuck on everything in this flame of place. Yeah, but we're, we're gonna be upgrading Travis by the. Let's kick this. Let's kick this stuff up and see what we find. Come on, mad money, baby. Let's go. Whoa, let's dodge the tops. I don't want either of these tops because I'd go all the way home. <laughs> Change out again. So I'm gonna have to leave those there. I'll, I'll barely remember. I left those there. I'll barely remember. Well, we'll earn a smidgen more money and then we'll pay our way in. We'll earn a smidgen more. Because I've actually skipped out quite a lot of the, the side jobs to like initially show you guys. I've skipped out quite a few. So, um, I'm going to make up for at least one of them now. At least one. And I believe it was picking up the garbage up from memory. The plasma? I've not mastered the secret of the third cast yet. <laughs> it's not bad. There we go. The first, the first rated guard will give a hard working man a little smile. Today's job has been listed on the bulletin board. Right, so I know we got to garbage collection, so now we're up to here. Gas down. It's just to hear what he has to say, dude. No, I feel like we got to gas down. Minesweeper? We got a gas down. We got a gas down first. But you won't never punch out on you. Get a bit more money just to really just about just about make it in there money wise even though I'm over one million. One million of these. 
Uh, because it's all nice and fresh and new, this whole YouTube experience for me. And I oh, know this has been real nice. It's been super nice just having this new kind of schedule because I finished up at uni. I finished up at uni quite a while back. Quite a while back. And it's not solely the hype of No More Heroes 3 being on the way. It's not only that. But boy! <laughs> I'm so glad it's on the way. I'm so glad it feels soon. It feels very soon. But yeah, I'm really am enjoying just having a YouTube channel to tend to. Because years ago, me and a friend of mine, Matt, we were supposed to do this together. Um, with uh, with uh, different interests and stuff. There's a lollipop ball. There we go, there it is. It's rendered into existence. With, uh, with just our, our different focuses. Like we, we just have different things to focus on, so that's how it kind of departed. But Journey to the Switch is still our title baby i hope you're out there matt you better show up on the show soon i'll try and convince you <laughs> all right so first of all the unspoken rules of santa destroy dictate perseverance perseverance leads to money which in turn leads to wealth the world will forever remain closed to those who do not per persevere the god of gasoline is cruel though lose your perseverance and you'll burn up that is what perseverance means so get working get working so get working, get working, get working, working, working! Oh man! <laughs> imagine, D imagine Dio, good old, uh, good old Dub Dio, good old Patrick Straits or Sites. Imagine him dubbing that dude. <laughs> Press the B button to pump gas into the car. Be sure to fill her up just the right amount. Three, two, I was garbage one. at this one back in the day. I might still be bad now. As you guys have seen with my baseball attempt. <laughs> just been like, yeah, yo, you just gotta do it like this and boom, lost it. <laughs> uh, absolutely lost that one. I was just like, man, I actually had a good run. I had a good run off camera. As soon as I bring on the oh no. As soon as I bring it onto the camera, it's just like, nope, that ain't happening. That ain't happening at all. Oh man. I'm actually looking forward to playing some more indie games on this channel. There's Bow Real Blade. I really wanna play Bow Real Blade on this. I really do. Because I started to get a hang of a swing of things. It's basically in, uh, it's basically for honor, but on the Switch, and I love it for that. It's all and it's all nice and simple too. It does. It, you could just hop straight straight in, barely check the tutorial twice, and you could still actually enjoy yourself quite a bit. Unless you bump into someone who's been putting what he's put like 200 hours in and it's obliterate you, dude. It's God damn! Like you feel like you're just like, yo, I've got to sweat this game out. If I'm gonna beat this SOB. It's worth it though. It's worth it really grinding out a game and really other. I'm really <laughs> really coming to grips to it as much as possible. For me it was Smash Bros Ultimate. I'm actually surprised I finished uni when Smash Bros came out. It came out in December. I flat played that game like crazy. <laughs> Way more than I should have, man. I was, especially I was on those dirty Ganondorf names as well. And I got fairly good. I got fairly good at it and I had to stop because I end up my heart always racing, always pounding just after every game. There wasn't any money on the line or anything. Which means playing online from my room. I didn't have an Ethernet adapter or anything. It wasn't like I was really sweating this out. Like, getting the most optimal connection and stuff like that. But then, as soon as my brain just geared towards that, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to really have to like stop and look at how I'm handling this game. I'm actually playing it. How much is it playing me? How is my like attitude to just being like, yo, I've got to win super bad? Because the point out my heart's racing, sweating and stuff, and I'm sitting down. I'm not even playing arms when I'm swinging my Joy-Cons around. It's not even that. And I'm getting that flustered. I'm just like, yo, this guy has to stop. This has to end. Someone could accuse me of it being a video game addiction. <laughs> Man, that blew my mind when that happened. When um, that got announced in the news, that was, uh, the gaming was announced as, as disorder. That really freaked me out. I was just like, wait, what? No way, like, <laughs> my immediate reaction is just like, no way, no way, this ain't a problem, this ain't a problem, and it's just, I, I guess because of how many times this video games have been demonised, it's just, oh, it has been demonised, it's just like, yeah, this is the worst thing that happened ever, but way back when, guys, we've got to remember, there was a reading pandemic, pretty much, I can't remember the exact time, I don't want to say Victorian era, because then all of a sudden everything in my brain will be like, oh, I've been Victorian era. Ooh. But, yeah, 
there's such a big craze of reading, people thought that that's just like, yep, everyone's brains are turning to mush now. So, I think any sort of form of entertainment, if it becomes just like, if it becomes influential enough and it shows so many people, so many people different ways of life and uh, different angles of being and entertainment and existing and that sort of thing, different life messages and that sort of thing, culture, that's the word I was looking for, culture, then oh uh, yeah, yeah, like people try and shut it down. Um, especially if it's got violence as part of the, and that's a part of the uh, storytelling tool. It's not like the vital, absolute core. Like, there doesn't have to be violence in every single thing for it to be entertaining. Like Tetris. Tetris is one of the most satisfying games I've ever played. It's so up there and it's so simple. You just make a line, it disappears, you put some more shapes together, you make another line. That is all it is. And I'm just like, wow, this is the best game ever. <laughs> it's one of the best sort of uh, time waster games. It's not on level of like some, uh, quite a few mobile games out there, and it's just to burn time, just to hit points and make what points or whatever. You could find genuine craft in it. In playing Tetris, there's a reason why there's tournaments, baby. There's a reason why. <laughs> right, so, oh, a ball. In my turn, I'll teach you something. Select the technique you want. Okay, let's pick, uh, which one is it? Memory of White uh, allows a jumping. See, this is the it's the jumping down attack to be performed. Yes, I want this one. This is the one I actually want. Because there's a jumping one when you swing the nunchuck. You ready for this? It may tickle just a smidge. <laughs> Look, there's a jumping spin slash. He do uh, Travis does when you waggle the nunchuck ever so slightly. And oh boy, learn the crazy the technique of crazy awesomeness. <laughs> You got that? The technique is yours and yours alone. This ball represents someone's soul. Don't you forget it. You still have balls? You want to do it again? <laughs> Jesus, okay. I think it's memory of a woman. Yeah, extended dark side mode. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Uh, what's the memory of three? Is memory of three, yeah, displays enemies on the minimap. And then memory of demon. Yeah, that's the jumping, hopping slash. And then tattoo is... Just earn bonuses based on your rank. Uh, the money thing don't really matter at this point, man, so... Yeah, memory of a woman! You ready for this, baby? <laughs> I love your rank. I need just realise that, okay, so in Travis Strikes Again, no more heroes. Learn the technique of God! You got that? Oh, sugar, I just skipped over one. <laughs> There's something about the world, damn it. But why, may I ask? Are they all here in Santa Destroy? Oh yeah, they're scattered all over the world. You still have balls? You want to do it again? No, I don't. I've got enough for now. Keep practicing. Will do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, with these Lollicoff balls and finding seven, and then it grants you a wish. Okay, Dragon Ball reference. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's been probably said to you guys a dozen times for every trivia, every trivia-ish thing they've found for No More Heroes. But, right, so, I only just realised this, because in Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, I'm repeating myself now, we have to get these death balls, and they're essentially the cartridges for the console that Travis, ha Travis has to play on to play the game within a game, so it gives you the ability to do so. Um, oh, wow, wow, I'm under my million now, yo, why am I my money? Anyway, so we paid in, whatever. Um, <laughs> I, have to, I have to really earn and burn. And uh, yeah, so I just realised that balls have been sent as have been a part of the focus of this game, of this game series. And I can't really remember off the top of my head all that much the second game, but definitely the first, definitely the the spin-off, the sort of two point five baby. Oh. This is the big three. Oh, Where are you now? oh yoga pants, yoga not boy. Right, you go ahead. Yoga class. <laughs> Thanks. Your next opponent is a witch. She lives in this abandoned place called Speed City. Yeah. A witch. Good Travis. stretch. Don't die, okay? That's a good angle. That's a good angle. Yeah. Suda Fifty One, you're the Quentin Tarantino of video games, baby. You find all these. These wonderful angles and how to tell a story. Not even just visual ones. Narratively. Dialogue and stuff. Thank you so much. 
Ooh, Glastonbury, baby! Oh, I love Glastonbury, such a cool. Such a cool robot. <laughs> the fact that it's got a hair. Well, hair. Love it. It's like it's a mecha Super Saiyan. That was really, that's a big stretch. Dear Travis, here's a highway bus ticket. You know where the bus terminal is, right? Terminal is right. There we go. Take the bus to meet the witch. She's got powerful magic, but you can kill her. Just come back alive. Oh, oh. Our chubby kitty Jean has decided to follow us. I'm a little worried. But then, nowhere to be seen. Oh, the entrance to ranking battle three is now open. Nowhere to be seen. Woo! Could be anywhere. Woo! There goes Flora and head straight over there. And who boy, I've actually done some upgrading for Travis. I believe I've extended his beam katana combo. And I increased his health a bit more with some squats. So I'm hella hyped. No strength, no so strength in his strength in his vitality. But since we extended dark side mode, I am really excited now. I'm gonna be mm, I'm gonna have a good time. Right, let's get to it. <laughs> now this is probably one of the most unexpected bosses out of all the No More Heroes 3 boss. Uh, sorry, No More Heroes bosses for me. No, <clears throat> this is the most unexpected the one. You looking at? Just a second, dudes. So I'm ready to beat your asses. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, what up, weed? Oh, uh, get out of here. I said weed because I had collectibles, I promise. Woohoo! Oh, perfect, get out of here. I was gonna leave you there. I was gonna leave you there, buddy. Sorry about that. What? Range? Get out of my face! Oh, all right, I guess he's gone. Yes. Take that. Nothing here, let's go. Oh, these goggles are weird, man. They're the only ones that don't quite fit my big head correctly. Lovely. <laughs> We're just being better on this. No, no, no. I want to beat you down, dude. Let's beat you down. Get out of here. Give me a second. Oh. Okay, go. Ah, we'll go for this one. We'll go for high top. Whoop! Oh! Yeah! No ropes, baby! Let's see who else we got. Who else is around? Is that it? Oh, hey, man. Nah, it's fine. Whoop! Oh, there's two of you. Alright, let's get you out of the way. There we go. Mm. I just wanna I just wanna do some wrestling moves, baby, that's all I want. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is one of those dark step you have. No way, no way his knuckle is bigger than my penis in front of Get out of it. Oh, we're finished here anyway. I feel like we're finished. Yes, we are finished here. No! I'm stuck in this dark side mode forever. Is this how Roku feels? I think that's how Roku felt when he got stuck in the Avatar state that one time. Oh, I can. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness I'm gonna do it. Right, on to the 51 speed highway! Let's go. Now, this is where it gets weird. Camera angles wise. I do like how this bus is. <laughs> he just slides along. This is exciting for me because I'm so. <gasps> We're traveling outside of Santa Destroy and we had to get to see some of the journey. And then. Somehow these lot just uh, drop out of <laughs> chilling, watching that fight. I'm in my music video right now. Oh shit, let's get serious. <laughs> oh wow, this, this downward motion doesn't even work that well. Okay. Oh! 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 Oh, the camera angles are okay still. Let's go. Oh, oh that's a problem for you all. Mm, 
my rounds, baby. Get out of here. Oh, wow. That was, that was the round play. Nah, let's, let's go for high five. See what we get. Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh! Whoop! Oh man, that's so goofy, like this, I love it. <laughs> I wish there was a mod, but like, I wish it was a PC for one thing. You could just have this camera angle fixed. <laughs> this is fixed to this, this is perfect. This is actually, it's actually kind of hilarious. Oh! I'm gonna kill you! I'll never, I'll never try. Oh, yo, that's, just, yeah, that's so dumb, I love it. <laughs> that's so funny. Get up. <laughs> it's so funny that you get to. It's so funny. Whoop! Uh, Nah, we'll go for a low kick. Oh no, that didn't work, that didn't work. Oh no, get out of here, get my face in. Quick cover it. Ooh, put in the shun kick. Swivel. Finally got that joke. Some galaxy brain numbers. It's kind of funny because I was talking about losers. Just ain't bad being a loser in my previous side job segment. And what the person she says to me over the phone. Right. Well, let's kick some dust up in this and in this bus and then get the hell on out of here. Oh, give me that post. That was good. <laughs> that was good in my steamed up goggles. Quite much it steams up. Oh, yo, we made it. Love it. Of course the stop sign's there. It's supposed to tell us to just, like, stop go- Oh. Oh, do you know? Speed city, speed city, baby. Oh, actually, lined up perfectly. That's good. There we go. Oh, another collectible. Give me that card. There we go. I don't think I'm at 100% health. No, because I'm too damn strong now, baby. <laughs> right. What's that? What? Oh no, we can't really explore much here. Can I? I'll deal with that later. Alright, so. We'll go in this good old, uh, porta potty. Yeah, that's cute, dollar sign for the ass. And, oh, oh! The E's are threes, baby! I think it's kinda nice looking. <laughs> right. Next time, we'll be dealing with Speed Buster. This been De Passion, also known as Mikel. Take care. See you in the next journey. Uh.
Back at it again.